You wanna build something? How about, uh, how about a cheese slicer kit out of uh, some cherry? We're gonna need to drill a hole for this to go into. It's a pretty deep hole. We'll probably need this extended length quarter inch drill bit. Let's do this. I cut this 7 8 thick board to 10 inches by 7 inches, sanded and water popped it up to 180 grit, wearing my PPE, and once it was wiped clean, I was ready to drill for the slicer arm. This hole needs to be 3 and 3 quarters inches deep. Now, I don't have a drill press, so I got creative and used the Rockler beadlock system to get an accurate, dead straight hole started, then finished to depth freehand. I used a 3 8 brass setup block to set my blade height and cut a kerf line for the slicer wire to go in. Sanded the groove, gave the board an edge profile, then finished sanded to 220. I applied some finish and buffed it off the next day. There's a groove at the end of the arm to catch the loop of the wire and keep it from slipping. Pop that on, thread the handle back into place, and BAM! The cheese slicer is ready for use. Delicious. There's no calories when you make the slicer yourself, right?